All right, music fans, welcome. Harmless Dave here talking about real music and real weird behavior and doing so in real time for a few real people who remain just like you right there, just like me right there. Thanks again for being a patron over on Patreon and for subscribing to the channel and just for watching the videos. Like I always say, put the videos on repeat play in a giant loop, right? And you can go to work and come back and they'll still be playing and Life will be good for everybody. Um, speaking of the good life, apparently the Foo Fighters have figured out that you're not going to have a good time at their show because they've decided to really sort of ramp up those safety protocols. Oh, I hate the word protocol. I just do. This story proves that the Foo Fighters are truly one of the great government rock bands of all time. Yes, again, stealing from John Cooper and his brother from Skillet. Foo Fighters have rescheduled their concert in Minneapolis after the University of Minnesota's football stadium refused the band's request for thing requirements last week. No, they wanted more requirements. And then what's weird is the university flips out on the Foo Fighters and has to, you know, virtue signal to everybody how safe they are, how they follow the protocols, how they have everything in place so you can go to see a concert. Okay, the Foo Fighters, a band that I really don't care about. You know, when I first uh, started doing this channel, uh, I was a little out of the loop on some of the music that had happened since I had really left the scene. And everybody was like, Dave, how can you not like the Foo Fighters? And I went, listened to the Foo Fighters and I think they had one song in like 1997 or something that I was kind of like, nah, it's okay. But everybody, you know, Dave Grohl, you know who Dave Grohl is, right? He was in Nirvana and now he's in the Foo Fighters. Isn't that cool? Dave Grohl is super cool. And every other article that you read is about Dave Grohl, Dave Grohl, superhero, Dave Grohl, best musician ever. Wow. Dave Grohl in two bands that are in the hall of fame. I'm just like, all right. And Steppenwolf, they're not in the hall of fame. Blue Oyster Cult, not in. Um, you know, Jim Croce, Carly Simon, not in, but the Foo Fighters, hey, yeah, <laughs> great. So, anyway, um, general admission floor tickets uh, go on sale Friday, December 10th, because now the Foo Fighters will perform at US Government Bank Stadium. I added the word government in there, but if it says US Bank, <laughs> it's like uh, money from the Federal Reserve. If you don't have enough, We'll print more. On November 30th, just hours after announcing the tour for next spring and summer. All right, stop, full stop. So here we are forecasting six, seven months out, and we're never going to change the protocols, right? We're never going to, well, of course you need proof of the thing next August. Is this ever going to go away? Does anyone care anymore? Is anyone following this? Here's what we need to do. We need a separate ecosystem, a parallel economy where there are outdoor venues. In, I don't care which kind of venue, but if you know, you're a little paranoid, right? Get a nice outdoor venue, maybe every other seat if you're really, you know, put one seat between you and the other person. I don't really care about that because I'm sounding like I'm worried about it. I'm really not. I'm really not. You need to get some sunshine some fresh air, and you know you have concerts and you don't have any of these stupid protocols in place. But no, um, the Foo Fighters are requiring on all 17 dates of their tour, proof of the thing or a negative test. I Meaning, look, I got an F. Um, I didn't pass the test, I got an F. Well, it's either positive or negative, okay? So I guess you hope for a negative test, after they, what, um, penetrate the blood-brain barrier a couple of times with their little swab. That's awesome. I want to do that every other day. So on November 30th, just hours after announcing the tour for next spring and summer, the Foo Fighters canceled their concert at Minneapolis's Huntington Bank Stadium. Again, the word bank is there. So Huntington Government Bank Stadium claiming that the venue refused to agree to the band's strict safety measures. 
I like measures. That's another fun word. Hey, it's a measure. Look, it's this measure. It's that measure. These are just measures. These aren't lockdowns. These aren't infringing upon your rights. These aren't like uh, hurting your ability to breathe. No, it's all good. <laughs> so due to Huntington Bank Stadium's refusal to agree, Foo Fighters were unable to perform at that venue. Again, this is for a concert that's in like seven months, right? So although Huntington Bank Stadium requires you wear a thing around your head, right? At indoor settings, such as elevators, restrooms, first aid rooms, enclosed premium areas, there is no thing requirement or proof of thing when you're outside. Oh, the horrors, the humanity. The university declined to change its existing protocols. Oh, stop saying protocols for large events, which have been effective. <laughs> so there's a little copy and paste. So they didn't change their protocols for large events because the, these protocols have been so effective. We continue to encourage everyone to do the thing, wear a diaper, when in large crowds and take appropriate actions to protect yourself when you're in a large crowd, the University of Minnesota released the following statement regarding the matter because now they have to do their public relations here to make sure that their funding doesn't get cut. The university, and these are all true statements here. The University of Minnesota has prioritized the health and wellness of our community and beyond since the beginning of the thing-demic and to state otherwise is misleading. <laughs> They're actually doing damage control against the Foo Fighters. In fact, university medical and public health experts, oh, health experts say, as well as the university's own, oh, they've done their own research. Wow. Well, according to the New York Times, that's a bad idea. But if you're government funded, you might be able to get like a grant from the NIH or something. Little emperor could send some money out your way because he's sitting on billions, right? Um, have consistently informed uh, local, state, national, and even worldwide approaches to the thing response. So the university's own research and their medical acumen, as well as their affiliation with public health experts, make them the cat's meow about this topic. Our on-campus policies related to things, wearing a thing, personal hygiene. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Have you been sterilized? Did you uh, did you dunk your, your whole body in isopropyl alcohol? Ah, did you? No? Well, then you can't come in here because we really care about hygiene. Oh, what? Um, hairs are burning off your face? That's nah, okay. You got to kill, you got to kill those particles, man. So anyway, uh, they go on. They've hosted Gopher football uh, since August while, while fully complying with state and federal thing guidance. The guidance. I love that. You're landing the plane. I need some guidance. What do I do? Well, you do the thing. You cover your face up. That's what you do. I mean, it's pretty simple, right? All who attend events at our public institution it's not an institution. It's just a stadium, right? Whether football fans, concert goers, or others are treated equally and encouraged to take steps to protect themselves and others. How are they treated equally again? <laughs> Aren't they refused entry if you don't do everything that you're required to do? By the way, the Foo Fighters released their 10th album back in February called Medicine. <laughs> I'm not making this up. Medicine at Midnight. Medicine at Midnight. So, yeah, they're a big proponent of CBS, Walgreens, and maybe they want you to go for the midnight showing of the thing, right? Today at CBS at midnight, you can line up and see and get the thing. Somebody comes out dressed like a giant thing, right? And they're there to give you the thing. Wow, what a great promotion. Someone's going to steal that. Anyway, it was number one, the album on Billboard's top album sales chart with first week sales of 64,000 copies in the United States and then immediately tanked after that because that's typically what happens. They could sell 64,000. That was a big deal. 
Those are probably mostly downloads. And of course, you can stream all their music for free, pennies on the dollar. Uh, and that's about what this music is worth, pennies on a dollar. Man, so the Foo Fighters, they are Foo Fighting, and they are Foo Fighting their fans, saying, nope, can't come in. Nope, don't care about what the stadium says. We've got tougher protocols, and we're enforcing those. Don't mess around with us. And we know seven months from now, the same protocols should be in place because this is never going to end, says uh, the number one government rock band in the United States. And that Dave Grohl, he can do no wrong. Dave Grohl is like the greatest musician who's ever lived. Good for him. I'm glad. So that's my video. <laughs> Thanks for what, folks, this is just getting, if this isn't getting crazy and goofy to you at this point, if this isn't at the point where you're not making fun of this, then you know, do, do a little homework, do a little research into this. And then really the only way we can get through this is together and having a sense of humor about it. And by the way, not even attending these things. If they're going to require you to violate, they're going to violate your privacy in like three different ways. And they're going to require you to do something to your own body in order to get in. I say, screw that. Just screw it. That's not worth it. Um, again. You can find a nice little dive bar somewhere uh, where they're not lip syncing, where there's there's not a vocal or an instrumental track playing in the background to supplement the sound because the band can't achieve their once glorious heyday. Just go see some blues guitar player bang, banging out some great tunes down the road. <clears throat> That's what you should do. Patronize some guy on a chair somewhere playing an acoustic guitar. You know, and then, you know, at least maybe you can go out without a thing wrapped around your head. You can enjoy a few delicious adult beverages and you can celebrate life that way. You don't need a corporate government rock band um, dictating to you what you should do in order to go see them. They should be making it as easy as possible for you to go see them. This safety nonsense, I don't know, it, to me, if you look at the results thus far, it seems like the definition of insanity to me. And apparently it's going to continue for at least another seven months. Go Foo Fighters, go!